Hello and welcome to another Spice Gamer tutorial. In this video, we will be finally finishing up the Minecraft rig that we've been working on for a while in the last couple of tutorials, and we're going to be adding a face rig so we can control the shape keys we created in the last video. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a rig to control the shape keys, uh, because we're going to be using drivers to control those keys. Uh, and I made a video on that a while back, so I'll have a link below. Uh, to for you to visit if you want to uh, have a more in-depth explanation of how they work. Uh, so let's add a driver to the I close L shape key. And you can do that by simply right clicking on the uh, slider and selecting add driver. Now pop open a graph editor and set the mode to drivers. Select your driver from the left pane and start editing the settings. Quick side note, Blender considers drivers Python scripts, because they really are. So you're going to need to go to the Blender preferences and enable auto run Python scripts because there's a security uh, thing in Blender that will block Python scripts from running unless you specifically enable that. So make sure to check that off uh, before you So now continue. just fiddle around with the driver settings until you get uh, behavior you want. This is going to require a little bit of math, but it's not too hard. Uh, my driver video should explain most of it. So after a little experimenting, I found that these settings work pretty well. So the expression is we're multiplying var, which is the vertical scale of the bone, times negative 1, and we multiply that by 1.5. So when we scale the bone, it'll squeeze the eye closed a little bit faster. And then we add 1.5 to prevent it, uh, to stop the bone from having to be 0 to completely close it. So we can close it when we reach uh, 0.5. And now we're just going to copy those settings to the other side. Now we're going to use the local X location of these bones to control the middle titan shape key, which is like the angry middle part of the eye squeeze. It's a really simple expression for this one. It's just the local X location because we don't have to do any math for that. And then we do it the same for the other side, of course. Now let's add a jaw bone to control the jaw drop shape. So we're just going to duplicate one of the other bones, rename it, and then have it control the jaw drop position with the local Y location. And we'll also use this bone to control the smile frown shape keys with its Y scale. And finally, let's add our phonics. So. To do that, we're just going to copy another bone over, rename it to match the phonic name. And don't worry about this, we'll add shapes later so we can differentiate these bones and know what they do. But for now, we'll just copy the bones and rename them. And assign the shape keys, and of course, we'll just use the X location, the local X location, so it's like a slider. You drag it right to increase it, and drag it left to decrease it. So parent the face rig to the head and we'll start making the shapes so we can differentiate our bones so we know what each of them do. So there's an O, A, E, M, and F, and I've combined the F and M keys uh, in one bone so it's a little bit simpler to work with. So once we have these keys assigned, we'll just go to our bone settings and assign them to each of our bones. And I just used the O bone on all the other on the other uh, face rig bones just because it looks cooler. <laughs> uh, so that's it. We now have a face rig, a working face rig, and it works really nicely. It's easy to work with. And next time we'll start animating, um, and we can do some facial animation now too. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you ran into any trouble. Feel free to comment below because this is actually a rather difficult subject. Drivers aren't very easy to work with, um, but I've put placed this uh, blend up on BlendSwap. I should have by this point, and it's you should be able to just download that and compare if you run into any trouble. And if you're still stuck, give me a, give a comment below, and I'll be happy to help out. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you all later.